Well, once again, that wonderful time of the year is upon us. We've reached the public examinations, and I thought, what better time for me to release a top three tips for recountering exam stress. But don't worry, there's nothing here about revision timetables, getting lots of sleep, or mind mapping. No, I want to say a little bit about getting into the right headspace. Over the years of teaching, many students have made quite an impact on me. I'm thinking of one today who was just starting her year 14. Yes, year 14, so she was resitting when I met her. But after I'd worked with her for about nine months, I get this message and it says, it's totally surreal. I can't believe I've gone from an E to an A. And this brings me to my first point. Why did you pick the A-levels that you picked? And thinking of physics, why did you pick physics? You knew it was going to be hard, obviously. I suspect that for many of you, there was a moment when all of a sudden you thought, wow, this physics is actually pretty interesting. Although you wouldn't have told anyone, Shh, of course. What? Try to rekindle that as you get towards your exams. Physics is great. My second tip is, don't panic. And of course, that's flippin' obvious, isn't it? Everyone says it. I used to have, when I was a teacher, regular recurring nightmares of a class, normally a top set for some reason, going out of control. Angry kids, nobody listening, no one learning, Ofsted standing at the door. As I grow gracefully older, it strikes me more and more that the bad things I worry about never actually happen. Oh yeah, bad stuff does happen, but it's not the stuff I've been giving my mental headspace to. Work on your weaknesses, of course. Hard work usually pays off. Don't get the idea that the exam boards are out to get you. There is no one keeping a log of what you're good at and what you're bad at so that they can create the perfect I'm going to fail this student paper. It's not like that. They want you to succeed. So there will be some tough questions on the paper, but think about just how far you've come and how much you will be able to do. Lastly, I've really enjoyed having this tiny YouTube channel, although at times I feel like I'm shouting into the wind. And the reason I have is because from time to time, people will ask me questions, and that's what teachers love the most. Teachers like their subjects, and they love it when you ask us questions. And the reason for that is because we get to feel special and intelligent and, well, above all, helpful. Ask them questions, ask them again, and then ask them again. No teacher is going to mind. No question is too stupid. This is my special friend Betty, and she's got a piece of advice for us. What would you like to say, Betty? Always try to enjoy your exams. Really, Betty? Are you serious? Yes, always try to enjoy your exams. Well, thanks for the tip, Betty.